Nobody had ever seen black holes collide and go into wild vibrations. Gravitational waves are the only way you could see the picture of the collision. We had an opportunity to test Einstein's theory of gravity. We bring a new dimension to astronomy, looking for these cataclysmic things. Well, LIGO stands for the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory. That's a bit of a mouthful. LIGO is a project dedicated to look for gravitational waves. Einstein predicted in 1916. Gravitational waves are ripples in the shape of space and time. Travel to Earth bringing detailed information about their source. What does a gravitational wave do? It stretches space in one dimension and contracts space in the other while the wave is propagating with the velocity of light coming at us from all over the universe. And when the gravitational wave comes by, it pushes mirrors back and forth, riding on the stretching and squeezing of space. To put it in perspective, we have these two black holes, 30 solar masses, 30 times the mass of the sun. They're moving at half the speed of light. As the black holes collide, the rate of flow of time oscillates wildly. Gigantic waves like in a storm. Massive objects that are cataclysmically colliding with one another. In the first and strongest gravitational wave, we've seen one one hundredth the diameter of the nucleus of an atom. <laughs> this is damn small. It took us five months to be absolutely certain that we were right. We also were able to show the shape of the signal was something the Einstein field equations predicted. Every test of general relativity, every test that's come up against its past. Einstein, he had come up with something which worked to explain the black holes as well as us. That's pretty spectacular, I think. We have detected gravitational waves. The anniversary of general relativity was late November 1915, and we discovered these waves on September 14th, 2015, almost 100 years to the day. How cool is that?